Ladies and gentlemen, it is your amazing host here. It is Team Rarai. And how is everyone doing out there on this Wednesday's edition? I am doing splendid. Anyway, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, and of course my Facebook page. If you're really serious to be part of the Rise show, message me for my latest post from Instagram only. Then I know you saw my latest video. Okay? Then you and I can make arrangements. We could discuss about anything you want to. But if you're not serious about this, don't even bother message me. Thank you very much. Let's get this started. And I will discuss for you wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab something to eat, or grab something to drink, or maybe you just want to chill like a villain and hear my amazing thoughts, my excellent opinions on the subject. And of course, the article will be down below. Well, the link will be down below. Let's get into this. Now, I know a lot of you are tired of the Thunderdome. I'm tired of it already. It has been, what, a couple months or even longer. I don't know when they start this Thunderdome. Sometime in 2020. So, I'm so tired of it. I am so looking forward to whenever they go back on tour again. Whenever that flipping happens. Okay, here's a new location for the Thunderdome again. This is, has to be the third time since they got out of, out of the Performance Center. Jesus, cry out loud. You guys can read it. I'm not going to even discuss this. Now, I even heard that they're not going to have no live crowd the night after WrestleMania because the night after WrestleMania is jumping so if you think about going to raw this year for wrestlemania weekend is not gonna happen i mean that's what i heard so that really is flipping sucks so i guess next year it'd be a different ball game so that's the best thing about raw the night after wrestlemania because you get like a debut or a return from a long time ago you know so, they're going to save that moment for next year. So, that flipping sucks. It'll be at the Thunder Room. I don't know when it will be back uh, touring again, you know. And I guarantee you that these wrestlers are getting tired of doing the Thunder Room. They won't say it, but you could just... They, you could just see in their body expressions. They get tired of doing it. Same location for months and months and months. Say, Jesus, we want we want a different location. We want to go go to like Chicago, Charlotte, you know, those kind of locations. We want to go back to UK. You know, I know UK fans wants to see the W back in tour whenever that flipping happens. Probably sometime in 2022. Who knows what W has planned for them. So you guys can read this off. And other stuff. It is has been confirmed from earlier this morning. We have a new inductee of the 2021 W Hall of Fame. It is the one, the only Kane. Take her and do some to be in the Hall of Fame. That is awesome. Who is going to induct him? This year's Hall of Fame will be Taker. Now, if you're wondering why not Taker in the non Hall of Fame, probably you're wondering. Why Kane in the Hall of Fame but not Taker? Hmm, that's kind of weird. I just thought of it. Next year, it will be in Dallas, Texas. So I'm assuming Taker will be in the Hall of Fame next year. I'm just guessing, okay? It makes perfectly sense. Dallas, Texas, and and it would be a perfect place. I think he's from Dallas, Texas, isn't he? Taker, and today is Taker's birthday. Happy birthday, the Antiker. He's 56 years old. You know? He had a great career. Now, what is your favorite match 
of the Undertaker of all time. It could be from WCW. It could be from the early days of WF, the later days of W, or whatever. I'm just wondering what is your favorite match of all time, in your opinion only. I don't have a favorite match of Taker. He's a great performer. All that good stuff. <clears throat> so, just drink the water. No alcohol. And I heard one rumor that RVD will be in the Hall of Fame. I don't know if that will ever be true. And I don't know. Is he really Hall of Fame worthy RVD? I say absolutely yes. He did a lot for the business, in my opinion. He won Money in Bank. He won the Hardcore Belt, Intercom Belt, European title, I think. I don't remember. Even when. ECW championships, I think, back in the day, but he never won the Rumble. That we didn't have no desire to give him that kind of push, but to give it to Ray Mysterio, I don't know, whatever. Um, so I love RVD, RVD was awesome, especially in ECW days. He, hell yeah! So that wraps it up. Look out for video number two later on tonight, and that wraps it up. See you guys tonight, deuces, and stay safe.